Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to do an unboxing video. Um, I'm going to be making a new quad and my goal was to make a new quad, new drone, whatever you want to call it. Um, I wanted to make it all out of parts that came from Craze Pony. And I didn't succeed. There's a few parts that won't be from Craze Pony. Um, I think it's my... I think it's my receiver because I'm using the FR Sky receiver, the XSR, and I'm going to be using um, an AKK uh, video transmitter. Everything else comes from Craze Pony. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of all those parts and stuff that we're going to be using for the build. So, and yes, I'm going to be actually doing a build video for this one. So, I can't wait to get that done. But this unboxing is going to be video taped in two parts, but I'll make it in one video. Because some of the stuff won't come till tomorrow. Okay, ooh, what do we have here? Ooh. This is a Run Cam Swift with OSD. So. After flying for a while, I realized that one of the most important things is my camera and my transmitter, which I'm still working on that. If anybody has a transmitter that they have coming out that they'd like me to review, let me know because I'm definitely looking for a good transmitter, uh, VTX. Okay, here it is. Run Cam Swift. And wow, this is nice. This is much better than <laughs> the camera I have now. At least I'm going to have some decent mounting options. And the lens that it comes with is about like the lens that I have already. Or that I had to buy it separately for this camera that I'm using. So, very cool. Very cool. Can't wait to try this out. All right, next. What do, we have? what do we have? Okay, here we have Craze Pony. These are the FVT 2-6S brush 30 amp little B BL Heli S. So in the in my current setup, I'm using the 20 amp version. So in this setup, I'm going with 30. I'm gonna try these out. So awesome. Awesome, awesome. Man, I'll tell you what, those bad boys are kind of heavy. Alright. Got one more box here. Oh my. We got lots of stuff in here. Let's see. Okay. So, what is this? This is the transmitter, the video transmitter. From AKK. It's switchable 25, 200, 600 milliwatts. I think I, should. I think it's milliwatts. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> There's that. Uh, I'm currently using one of theirs, but it's just the 600 version, and I wanted to be able to try 200 because. I've heard certain situations 200 is going to actually be better because if you're flying in close and you have a lot of objects, 600, uh, the signal is so strong that it can bounce and reflect and actually mess up your signal. So we're going to try that out, see how that goes. Next we got some Dow props, but they're from Craze Pony. 
so let's see what's up with this. These are legit gal props. They just they're just distributed by Craze Pony. So wow, they feel pretty good. Yeah, these are pretty strong. They're pretty stout. So I figured going with the 30 amp ESCs and trying these. These are 5045 bull nose um, tri blade props. So that's going to be cool. Of course, this is very similar to the Lumineer QAVX Sharpu. And this one's called the Chimp. So <laughs> this is uh, cool. Made by Gep RC. Got some stickers. Oh, wow. Okay, it comes with a PDB, power distribution board. It comes with um, rear end, uh, like LED tail lights. Wow. It comes with 3M rubber pads and this is the battery brace 28 millimeter standoffs for this and you know so that's shorter than the standard uh, what 35 I think wow there it is the sides are all rounded off I mean this thing is nice oh, very strong very strong even comes with zip ties and of course a, a get RC battery strap so very cool very very cool can't wait to do the build video for this wow I did not realize that I think I knew it came with the power distribution board um, but I didn't realize it came with the LED tail lights There's that. Okay, here's uh, a little beeper. Lost signal beeper. Lost drone beeper. This is the same flight controller that I use in this setup, and it's it's amazing. Um, there's one coming out that's an F3 that's supposed to be amazing. I can't wait to try it, but for now this is the best one that I've used it's all it's the only one that I've used so what am I saying anyway but it's amazing so um, it is a beta flight f4 board um, from craze pony I got some antenna extensions uh, didn't know if I'd need them on this setup or not but I may need them to do something different on this setup Okay, I'm like, what? Craze Pony Racing Drone Frame. Um, that's kind of freaking me out because I didn't order a racing drone frame. Oh, hey, what do we got here? Emacs. Multicopter motor. Okay, whoop. <laughs> All right. Um, ugh. Jeez. Seriously? Got some fancy packaging here. Got Emacs 2205, uh, 2300 motors. I can't keep it in my hand. Cool. Wow. And each one of the motors comes with 
is it two? Yeah, two different size screws, three different sets of screws, actually. All right, three sets of screws and an Allen wrench for each motor. That's uh, that's a lot. Thank you. All right, so there are the Emacs motors from Craze Pony. Thank you very much, Craze Pony. Another Manila envelope. What do we have? What do we have? Uh, package of heat shrink tubing, different colors. Um, we got, looks like two or three different sizes, and then we have different colors as well. I'll be using some of that for the build. Last but not least, okay. Here's the FR Sky um, XSR receiver. Honestly, the package looks like wherever it's been, it's been there a long time. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, <laughs> hopefully everything works good. I know you probably already saw me um, unbox a receiver, but as it turns out, I didn't realize that using the uh, wherever it's at, using that other receiver, uh, you cannot actually hear this. You probably saw me unbox this earlier. And I did not realize when I purchased this that this particular model does not do S-Bus. So I will be returning this one and using the one that I've used before, the XSR, which is the smallest FR Sky receiver that you can get. I mean, there may be one that's a little smaller that's, an, that's uh, made by another company, but made by FR Sky, the XSR, with S-Bus, that's the smallest one you can get. And then I got a pen of con formal coating. Um, I'm not trying to do some full-on waterproofing. I don't know. I'm just kind of just got kind of got this to try it out. So we'll see how it goes. If, if you want to build this along with me, all the parts will be in the description um, in this video. All the parts will be listed and then also as well all the parts will be listed in the build videos for the new quad so that's it for right now I'm Nicodemus the channel is droid cheats like comment subscribe I appreciate it I'll see you in the next video